Hey folks, how you going? Well, this time, next week, the new anticipated album by Slipknot will be released. So, to celebrate the countdown, I figured I will talk about their original first album. Unfortunately, this is a bootleg. Now, there's many bootlegs. Some are convincing, but when you uh, see that the disc is a dark blue or just black or dark green and not the forest green, and many misprinting on the case and artwork, you know you got fake. Now the real Mate Fee Killer Pete is worth a thousand dollars. I think the cheapest sold for seven hundred and fifty. There's a fan site that has all the owners. And couple of times they've had competitions where they sell a copy. Now there's some that are autographed by the original lineup. Now before Corey, before James, before Chris, before Sid, you had Anders, who was the original singer, Mick, Joey, Clown, Paul, Josh, and Craig. Craig, in the original inception of the band, played guitar. He also played guitar in Joey's other band, Mephidius. Now, they have clips and songs up on YouTube. Very awesome band, and it was interesting to see Craig play guitar. And then he went on for keyboards and samples. Now, Anders has a very deep, gruff voice. So, he couldn't really do the melodic clean part, but for the time, it worked. You know, they were heavy band, they still are, but this album is very experimental. And a percent of it was reworked to other songs. So, in 1996, on Halloween, at the Safari Club, Mate Fee Kill Repeat was available. And... Only a thousand copies were made. It's a very, very different record. Now the first song, which is called Slipknot, ended up being sick on self-title. You'll notice how very much it is the same song. Uh, the intro just has this processor, this static noise, guitar pitch, and then it's just strumming. Joey comes in with, well, essentially just playing around on the drums, and then he eventually matches the guitar strum, and then it breaks into a slower version of the intro of Sick. And the lyrics are pretty basic in some of the songs, as the album was influenced by Werewolf the Apocalypse, a RPG game. So, yeah, the, the self-titled song is often referred to as Pantex Sucks, because Pantex was from the game and then just these random things. Uh, there's an awesome guitar solo in the song, and yeah, just a percent of it was reworked as sick. Then Gently follows with an amazing guitar progressive Piece. It's so well constructed and played. It's amazing they didn't use that intro for the reworked version of Gently or in later albums. Maybe, maybe they will use the original Gently's intro for We Are Not Your Kind. They did say it was experimental, and Gently is an experimental song, especially that opening piece. It's so beautiful. It's like Seeing in front of a fireplace. 
drinking a wine or, you know, getting romantic with the partner. And then most have gently remained the same in the new version, just a couple lyrics were changed. Then track three, you've got the fan favorite, Do Nothing Bitch Slap, which is the best song on the album. It starts off with a thunderous, slapping pop bass intro, and then the heavy guitars come in, and then it's bounce da 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 And then it goes into a jazz number. Because the song is fusion. Then after the little jazz interlude, goes into a blistering heavy verse and then it has another jazz interlude and then it rips a funk disco verse after a bit of a colder and then it gets all funky disco and then it goes back to the hard verse and then just ends with this play off and screaming and shouting and again do nothing bitch slap would be amazing if it was reworked for we are not your kind after that you've got only one has a pretty awesome drum intro um now the reworked version of only one pretty much had the same structure of the song you know it's got that cool bass line do 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 a whole set of different lyrics pretty much the same song as this album now is a demo and then yeah so it's still got that only one of us walks away because that's a pretty cool line then you got tattered and torn now tattered and torn like how I've become was reworked again for self-titled um some similarities some people say the lyrics to the original tattered and and torn are better than what's on self-titled. Like they are quite good lyrics. Like the the lyrics generally got better throughout the album. Um, so a few differences, but essentially almost the same song. Then you got confessions, not reworked. Pretty good song. Uh, it's a bit melodic. Um, very experimental and progressive, very different than some feel. Pretty good, pretty heavy. Got some great gang vocals in it. Uh, wasn't reworked again. Then the end song is Killers Are Quiet, which was reworked to Iowa, the title track of the fan favorite album. So, yeah, the majority of this album was reworked into later songs that people love. And they go, oh yeah, this was cool, but when you hear this, or as Corey says, get this or die. Now there has been some interviews where they've said they're working on getting this re-released, and they should. They should get this reworked and available for more copies, because so many people are getting ripped off, getting bootlegs. So what you gotta do is make sure the CD has these two rings but is a light forest green disc and no spelling mistakes because there's heaps of mistakes so your collection will be the sickest if you have so essentially yeah very light green to what this like this probably doesn't show up right in this light but the front of this is essentially what the disc color should be. So, um, I'm trying to find a picture. Oh, this is the awesome cartoon picture of what the band looked like. So, you got Mick, you got Craig, you got Paul, Josh, Clown, Anders, and Joe. So that was sketched up by one of the guys, probably Clam, and, uh, the, but yeah, just, like the fan site, Mate V Kill Repeat, has all the comparison charts 
all the details, so check them out. And, um, so, yeah, they've been asked numerous of times, I said, they're working on getting a proper version of Make Me Kill Repeat out. Not that there is a proper version, but a more commercially available version. And, um, yeah, so if it does happen, it will be awesome. Then you'll have a great collection. Uh, very different, I said, really interesting record. And then their follow-up will be Crows. Now, that album is said to exist, and only Clown has the full version in a safe somewhere in his home. Um, you can download the whole album. It's not official, but you can get it. There's many different cover versions. Um, you got Windows, May 17, Coleslaw, The Me Inside, Carve, Heartache and a Pair of Scissors. They're the songs from Crows. And the whole story behind it was, I think it was Paul who was coming back from rehearsal and in his street there was just a whole lot of crows. It, or it may be when Chris was in, because he hates birds. So it was either Paul coming back or it was Chris when he was in the band and then bam, got freaked the hell out and then mentioned it. Like, again, it's heavy, it's experimental. Uh, Carve will be reworked to Before I Forget. The Me Inside would be reworked as Me Inside for self-titled. And like you watch their original gigs and they play these songs like Coleslaw and May 17 are awesome. Then another one had um, a riff that was reworked for New Abortion. So a lot came full circle. And any other songs, especially Do Nothing Bit Slap, are reworked for We Are Not Your Kind. It will be the ultimate record. And they should bring more from this album. And that's Joey, by the way, in a little thing made by Clown, because he was a welder. So, I've taken a bitch slap to the face, and I've done something. So, hope this keeps you happy until Saturday. Next Saturday, you're going to have We Are Not Your Kind review and reaction. Hopefully, I can get the whole team together for this because it's a very special day and then a couple weeks after that I'll have another review on another good album that's rare to come by and then an old school TV show and then likely something new for the day and thank you everyone for your support it's been great so until next time I'll scare you later